I'm joined now by Marshall Moore from Utah Film Studios and also Matthew Crandall. He's a studio partner from Crandall Capital. Welcome, you two. We're talking about the fifth anniversary of Utah Film Studios. I feel like we were just sitting here talking about it opening. And here we are five years down the road. Yeah, there was a groundbreaking in 2013. It took a little while to get going. And then when it did, it kind of took off. You know, it's kind of those scenarios where you have to build it and they will come. And that certainly has happened over the last five years. Did you anticipate the impact on our state that this studio would have five years ago? I did, but I thought it, the impact would be more if, if it was built in Salt Lake City, not Park City. But there was a certain vision there that tied it to the Sundance Film Festival, to a resort town, and to the locations that were nearby. And then it made perfect sense. But it, initially, I was like, well, maybe should it be should it be in Salt Lake City versus Park City? But it, Park City turned out to be the right place. The perfect location. Yeah. What type of clients are you seeing there? Well, we see everything. Um, the whole reason the studio was built uh, for film and TV was to attract a, a long-running television series and it's done that two times already in the first five years with blood and oil didn't last as long as we'd hoped but you there's no guarantees uh, that you're gonna have a series that lasts long and long so you had blood and oil from the ABC Network and then now in its third season going hopefully going into its fourth is the Paramount Network and the TV series Yellowstone with Kevin Costner I'm a fan I think a lot of people out there fans of Yellowstone love watching that as a real estate development company why did Crandall Capital want to own a studio well, it was something pretty unique for us. Uh, it's not in our normal uh, portfolio of things that we uh, pursue, but it turned out to be a fantastic opportunity for us to uh, own a studio in the uh, heart of, as Marshall said, where Sundance takes place. And also, uh, it's a uh, very prestige area where we are able to build a hotel um, and some uh, residential as, or some commercial as well. What's your experience been working with all the different productions that come in and out of there? It's been fantastic. It's been a lot of fun to see how uh, they've been able to um, make Utah their home and it's something that us as Utahns can be proud of. Do other studios have this much activity in their first five years? These well, are huge shows going in and out of there. Yeah, exactly. And, and the, you know, partnering with the, the the Utah Film Commission and their incentive program, which helps attract these productions to the state, has been essential for us. Without that, none of these shows come here. All right, so the and, state incentive program. Yeah, it's a rebate program that's How's offered that by the state of Utah. Forty other states offer these type of programs, other countries, to attract film production dollars and to your state, to not only showcase your state, but also to provide jobs for the local film community. So those, we work together with you could say the film commission to make sure that these type of things keep happening in the state and one of the things we're working on is making sure that program expands and not contracts and we're working with our state legislatures to to, to create that awareness that shows like Yellowstone just don't happen by accident mm. or high school musical or any of the independent films that come here and, and shoot off and on do you want to expand on that and the impact on our state yeah I mean it's a really fantastic uh, program that we have here. For every dollar that uh, is spent by Utah in incentive, we get back $14 of uh, economic growth. So it's it's a win-win for everybody. All right, future expansion, will it get bigger? That's our hope. Uh, we need to uh, work with the state and increase that incentive, but we have plans for three more sound stages, and we would love to be able to provide that and all that um, uh, that film does for Utah and especially rural Utah. This is and, fun to have and, you, gentlemen. I mean, and so far, the, this is the single largest capital investment ever made in Utah film is Utah Film Studios. And, and like I said, it had to be the if you build it scenario. And then, of and course, and then Kevin, Kevin Costner co came. comes in and kind of, there you know, we go. yeah, kind of that synergy that was created. But there had to be a certain risk taken because the window of approving productions uh, to go to greenlight them is only about three months. Wow. So you can't say, oh, we have a production and then you build a studio. You have to build the studio first in order to get the production here. Gentlemen, big, big things happen there and big things happening in the future. Utah Film Studios celebrating five years. Congratulations. I love this interview right before Sundance, which is headed our way again in the next couple days. All the information about it, you can find out more, is on our website, abc4.com slash midday, and we'll be right back. PRA is seeking men and women ages 60 to 85 to participate in a clinical research study. 